Okay, question number eight. What are two different ways of select two different ways of factoring negative three x minus nine? Now, when I talked about factoring, I told every single person to take the two numbers that are in here. Make a fraction of three ninths. If I was to tell you three ninths, who can raise their hand and tell me what do I reduce three ninths to? If you saw a fraction of three ninths, one third. One third. Now that means I'm going to divide a 3 out of it. Now, i got all these different crazy symbols here. So I'm going to put a 3 right here. And I'm going to put a parentheses. I have, what do I multiply 3 by to make negative 3x? This one's a little tricky. If it was just, what do I multiply 3 by to make 3x? I'd multiply an x here. Who can raise their hand and tell me what needs to go inside of here? Negative 1, but don't forget, you also include your x. Call this negative x. And what do I multiply 3 by to make a minus 9? What do I multiply 3 by to make minus 9? What kind of 3 goes in here, because 3 times 3 is 9, to make a positive 3, an answer of negative 9? Page negative 3. Okay, it said it wants two ways. So I go find this answer. This answer is right here. My second way of doing this question, there's only one other way to factor correctly. Make 3 up front, negative 3. Now I'll go factor it. I want this to be negative 3x. I already got a negative 3. Who wants to raise their hand and tell me, what do I multiply negative 3 by to make negative 3x? Do I put an x in here or a negative x? Lila. x. What kind of 3 do I put in here? If I want the answer to be negative 9, and I started with negative 3. Jasmine? Positive 3. Now, go find that answer. Negative 3, parentheses, x plus 3, correct. Now, always, it doesn't take as long to do this. I'm going to zoom it in. 3 times x gives me positive 3x. That's why that one's wrong. 3 times x gives me positive 3. 3 times 3 gives me positive 9. This one's the exact opposite. Can't use it. This one here is negative 3x. And when I get to here, a negative times a negative gives me positive 9. So it's half right, half wrong. So when you look at it, you can almost, instead of factoring right here, you could have just done the question straight up over here and figured out which one's the cross off and which one's the answer. You can do it one of two ways. 